Hi, I'm Waylon Brown, and welcome to another Ask a Dev. Today's question is from Ritesh. Ritesh asks, how can I get started making Android apps? Great question. Mobile app development, and Android development in particular, has a very low barrier to entry. All you need is some knowledge of Java, $30 for a developer account, and an app idea. Java knowledge actually isn't necessary to start your very first app. If you choose a simple enough app to start with, it can be a great way to learn the basics of Java, though for larger, more complex apps, some experience in Java will help you develop your apps more efficiently. The best place to start Android development is with the Google Android Developers Training Guide, which is all online at their developer.android.com website. It will take you through how to set up Android Studio and how to make your very first app step by step. If you don't have an Android device, you can still run an emulator, which shows an Android device on the screen that you can develop an app onto. Once you become familiar enough with the tutorial to make the tutorial app without following the guide, you can then explore more advanced topics on the website, such as supporting different device sizes, using the activity lifecycle, saving data, and even interacting with other apps. At this point, you're ready to create your very first app and can very easily become an Android developer by uploading your finished app to the store. On the same Android developer website as before, you'll find your first steps on how to publish your very first app and how to push updates to the store. If you'd like to get some income from the app, you can figure out which pricing model you'd like to use, a free versus paid version, in-app purchases, or simply relying on advertisements. Each of them has their own pros and cons and will directly affect how many downloads you end up getting for your app. Lastly, you'll need to figure out a way to market your app. A great way to start is by contacting various Android blogs or content sharing and app review websites. You could also use your own blog or social media accounts to get the word out. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to tweet your questions with the hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.